Okay, 4th of July. I have finished adding my sump tank, my third sump tank, or stock tank, which is part of the sump tank system. And I have also added a second set of pipes connecting all of these uh, containers. So originally, all uh, the two tanks were connected with inch and a quarter pipes. Then I added the third tank, connected it with inch and a quarter pipe, but that wasn't enough, a uh, large enough pipe diameter to allow all the sump tanks to equalize when the pump was on. So I added a second set of pipes, inch and a half, connecting everything. So now there's no appreciable difference between the water level in this sump tank, the water level in this sump tank, and the water level in this sump tank. Maybe an inch or two, but very minor. Okay, so what's been happening with the garden? We got tomato, cherry tomato, broccoli, bell pepper, kale is growing, jalapeno is dying. And a uh, poblano is growing, but the jalapeno is very sad. And uh, this new guy I got, sweet pepper, gypsy pepper, it's got brown on top. I'm not sure what that's about. My squash plant's doing something too. I lost a lot of water when I was doing all my sump work, so I'm sure my nutrient levels have dropped. This tomato's huge. Huge. And you see, I, this is how I trained it is I just put a piece of wood on top <laughs> to hold it down on top of the trellis. <laughs> Tomatoes are beasts. So what's going on in this grow bed? More of the same. And it's uh, peas over there. They're getting their legs under them. And the raspberry cane, of course, is just hugely tall. Uh, we know what that is. And we've got some squash, snapdragons, and some other stuff. I finally cut the stock for this one uh, kale or whatever it is, and I'm just gonna leave it here and let it put out its um, put out its seeds into the bed here. Wow, Putting a lot of water through this grow bed. Well, that's fine. And then in the other grow bed, uh, I took out the Chinese mustard and I planted these little guys, which, gee, I hope they're going to make it. And of course we got yellow jackets all in here too. But this is what they're going to be. Check it out. Pine berries or strawberries, white Carolinas. And we also have lots of yellow jackets hanging out with us. They're attracted to the open water around here. They like to... Um, take drinks but now I feel like I'm kind of pissing them off so I'm gonna leave them alone here we go that's cool all right time to leave this guy's saying hey what the fuck all right we'll get out of here man thank you so the strawberries exploding but again uh, they're also showing signs of nutrient, everything, deficiencies or whatever. Lots of strawberries in here, which I'll probably pull out. Pumpkin exploding, squash exploding, blackberry uh, doing okay. Maybe not exploding, but he's doing okay. Now we've got the greens. If I'm zoomed in, no. Got that green. Pulled out the Chinese mustard. I think I already said that. And the musk melon. Now it's not in the shade so much. It's getting some growth and broccoli and broccoli. And uh, another one of those. The orange tree seems to be doing okay. Spreading out a little bit. And I have cleared out my bathtub, except for 
the Logan berries, which are spilling over the edge here. Don't know what I'm going to do with those. Maybe a trellis or something. And now in here we have Valencia onions and strawberries. And uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's a cucumber. Or I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but it's in there. And we've got these cucumbers. Look at that. We got a little guy in there. We got a good pick of that. Cool. Just a little guy, but he's growing. We got lots of brothers and sisters in there, too. So, with the changes to my sump tank, I have also changed the plumbing a, a little bit. The extra runoff from my main grow bed is directed to that tank. The main drainage from the two secondary beds over there comes out through this pipe. And the bathtub drainage now comes out this pipe, goes under, down, and here. And so, and this is where we got some other stuff in here. So, both of these side tanks, boom and boom, are having water levels come up. And this is where the pump is making the water level go down. So, um, it makes sense to me. Now, uh, to have water come in here, it goes out. So, we've got a continuous flow through here, and we don't have any stagnant water uh, in the in the tanks. Something special. This is my uh, nutrient reclamation tank. I don't know if it really does anything. I haven't been testing the nutrients or anything. But what I do is uh, any organic nutrient, any organic waste that I have, I put in here. Not not kitchen waste, just trimmings from the, the garden mostly, and um, uh, soil. I wash off the soil pots and uh, or the soil you know the seedlings and so I got a lot of this crap <laughs> in there um, anyway so it's always bubbling air going through it and it breaks it down from uh, uh, these firm firm leaves in uh, starting out like this, this is just off the plant and then in about a week they turn into like um, uh, mush basically so my idea there is that uh, through that transformation, something's eating, eating them, and releasing nutrients, and then uh, periodically I drain the water through a net, through this drain pipe here into the main system, and then replenish this with um, hose water. So I don't know if it's working or not, but uh, pretty soon I'll have a phosphate test, and that'll give me a good, uh, a good way to see. All right, well, that's the story with my garden. Everything's growing. I've had some uh, upgrades, some changes. Got my sump tank in here. And everything's going well.